Hi, I'm Mike Caldwell. I've been the head luthier for End Stuff Music since 1979. I've been repairing, maintaining, restoring, and building guitars for over 47 years. Hi, I'm Chad Gerby. I've been working for In Stuff Music as Mike's assistant luthier for two years. And before I started here, I was a graduate of the Gallup School of Luthery in Michigan. Mike and I believe that there are many aspects of guitar maintenance and repair that are best left to professionals like us, but there are also many concepts that should be understood by every guitarist in order to properly maintain their own instruments. In this video series, we're going to demonstrate different concepts of guitar maintenance that the guitarist can do on their own. And in this first video, I am going to demonstrate how to restring an acoustic guitar. So we restring guitars because over time, the strings, um, they get dirty, they get corroded uh, from the grease and the oils that are in our hands as we play them. And as that happens, uh, the strings start to sound not as good as they could. They start to lose the ability to stay in tune and they just don't feel as good. So this guitar is a uh, Martin Triple O 28, the Eric Clapton model. And um, we are going to restring this one. A tool that every guitar player should have is a good string winder. And um, we use these in the shop all the time. And uh, they do a good job of uh, detuning and retuning the guitar so you can get the string off quickly. And then um, we also have, we use these at the, uh, in the shop, just a little electric string winder. So I'll tune down all the strings. Now, some people ask, if it is a bad idea to take all the strings off at the same time, if we should restring one string at a time. But as you can see, I have removed, I have taken all the tension off the strings and that is fine. So uh, on a lot of string winders, it has this little nib here that uh, is used to remove the bridge pins. take the strings out of the bridge like that and now I'm very careful to remove the strings from the machine heads making sure not to scratch the head plate and now with all the strings off this is a this is a very good time to if your guitar is dirty to clean the whole guitar um, to clean the fretboard polish the frets in the store we use four aught steel wool to clean and oxidize the fretboard and the frets and then we'll go over it with lemon oil to condition the fretboard but this guitar is in pretty good shape so we don't really need to do that right now. So, uh, Ma all Martin guitars come out of the factory with Martin Lifespan SP strings. Uh, they're fantastic strings, they sound really good, and they have a coating on them to make them last a lot, a lot longer, so they're a great value. It's important to have the ball end of the string seated firmly against the bridge plate which is directly underneath the bridge and it's a piece of hardwood and that contact allows for good transfer of the vibrations from the string to the body to make the guitar sound the best that it can. And to get that, we take uh, little uh, uh, wire benders that I got from a jewelry store and we take the ball end right below the ball end and just put a little bend in it. So then we put the ball end 
into the into the hole of the bridge, put the uh, put the bridge pin in with the groove facing towards the headstock. And as I'm pushing down on the bridge pin, I'm pulling up on the string. And then, so that is seated pretty well. Now I'll do that for the rest of the strings. The strings have all been installed in the bridge with uh, the ball ends planted firmly against the bridge plate and the pins are all seated nicely in there. And I'm gonna put this mirror in the guitar. So you can see in this shot how the ball ends are all seated firmly against the bridge plate facing towards the headstock of the guitar and that's going to be the best way for tone to transfer from the strings to the body to get a good sound. Now I'm going to install the strings at the headstock and but before I do that I'm going to get the hole in each of the machine heads to face in line with the neck of the guitar. Now if your machine heads have washers on them that tighten, now is a good time to use a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten them down. But these don't have those, so we don't need to worry about that. So I'll start with my low E string. Put it through the hole, pass it through, and I give myself about two inches of clearance right here. And then now the technique that we use to lock the strings in place, I'm going to demonstrate for you right now. We take the excess string, pull it under the string, and then over. And then we tighten the string, and that is going to lock the string in place and help it stay in tune. We use our wire cutters and cut off the excess. We like to cut the excess string down as close as possible to avoid any lost eyeballs. So we'll do that for the rest of the strings. Now at this point, with all the strings installed on the guitar, I'll take the guitar and we'll stretch each of the strings out. And this is going to help the guitar stay in tune at first because the strings tend to stretch out once they're installed on the guitar. And then we take our uh, handy little snark tuner. We sell these at the store. They're great. I use them every day. and then just tune it up. And that is how you restring an acoustic guitar.